New tonight, the man accused of causing a deadly crash in Westport while driving drunk is back behind bars following his arraignment this afternoon. The crash was first breaking Friday night on Eyewitness News at 11. And today, the suspect faced the judge. During today's arraignment, we learned just how fast Robert Hansen was allegedly going and how much liquor police say they found in his car. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live in Fall River with the latest developments. Prosecutors say police found several tequila bottles in Robert Hansen's SUV, and they say Hansen spit on the police officer who arrested him. Police say Robert Hansen was drinking and driving when he caused this deadly crash. Inside of the defendant's vehicle was observed an open and partially consumed bottle of tequila as well as a number of other empty bottles of tequila. The Bristol County District Attorney's Office tells us Hansen was going about 85 miles per hour when he smashed into the back of Geraldine Correa's vehicle here on Route 6 in Westport Friday evening. Police say Correa was thrown from her car as it rolled. All you could hear was a big loud bang. Nicholas Sudo works nearby and saw it all happen. By the time I ran over, people were already doing compression. It was just a very, very, very traumatic thing to see. I mean, to, to have heard that and then to have seen the damage that was done after was absolutely incredible. Prosecutors say Hansen failed all field sobriety tests. Now the 52-year-old is facing several charges, including motor vehicle homicide by OUI and negligent operation of a motor vehicle. Mr. Hansen has indicated to me that the car in front of him had pulled out of two lanes of traffic and into the front of him. He also indicated to me that he was not drinking. Um, the bottles in the car were from a couple of weeks prior. Police say Hansen was not seriously hurt in the crash. Prosecutors say Hansen has a lengthy criminal history and driving record. Today, his bail was revoked on a previous charge, so he is now being held without bail. Coming up new at 6, here from the victim's daughter. Live in Fall River with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. New developments now in a deadly car crash. One woman was killed after police say her car was struck in Westport by a man who was driving drunk. Today, that suspect appeared before a judge. And new at 6, the victim's daughter tells us how she found out the devastating news. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live outside of Fall River District Court. The daughter says she heard that news when she was on her way home. Her dad told her over the phone. Geraldine Correa went out to pick up dinner Friday evening and never returned home. Her family now struggling with immense grief for the 73-year-old who was a wife, mother, and grandmother. I was on my way home from work, and um, we got rerouted, and I called home to let them know that I was going to be a little bit late. And my father told me that there was a major car accident and that my mother was involved and that she passed away. The Bristol County District Attorney's Office tells us Robert Hansen was drunk and driving about 85 miles per hour when he smashed into the back of Korea's vehicle here on Route 6 in Westport. Police say Korea was thrown from her car as it rolled. He was a very loving, compassionate woman and didn't deserve what she got. Oh, he was driving reckless and he was drinking. Why would you get behind the wheel? I'm going to deserve everything he gets. Prosecutors say Hansen has a lengthy driving record and criminal history. His bail was revoked on a prior charge, so he is now being held without bail. Prosecutors say police found several tequila bottles in Hansen's SUV. Hansen says he wasn't drinking at all and claims the victim cut him off on the road. Live in Fall River with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.